and then to just say like you know how those serial killers leave like <laughs> wow i mean yes yeah thank you for saying that welcome to the show shadda thank you it's kind of cool to be in your presence obviously it has got to do with what you do you know of course and the way you look everything but but you know this this cool attached to it so just how's your day like how have you been <laughs> good uh i mean you know for me every day every moment is like oh how can i how can i reinvent this moment like everything has stopped everyone in the world is on the same page so how do you tackle stress then look i mean you know doesn't that mess with your daily like you know okay i'm going to do this or whatever i mean it, it does sometimes but how do you tackle it that's what i really want to know yeah it's a good you asked me that question i felt pre covid world was a bit too stressful because and we were things were to... not making sense yeah 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 maybe maybe so we need uh, what you're saying is that okay it shouldn't have happened of course it shouldn't have happened whatever happened 2020 was shit but it did give you a time to rethink was it necessary yeah i don't think 2020 was shit to uh, to be very honest it wasn't for me either because i'm just you know saying because everyone is like okay this year was shit but for me it was pretty cool like i did some good stuff in yeah. 2020 i i mean i don't know i i i kind of got a publishing contract i got some awesome people on the podcast so i'm like i shouldn't be complaining but you know god knows what's happening in people's lives yeah. so yeah so yeah how how do you it, has it ever been a thing that you tell yourself that okay you know good vibes positivity and do you have to tell it to yourself or are you a you know walking moving <laughs> <laughs> no i think you know that that's the journey of managing spirit within body right okay that we all have this essence we have a soul right and then there is this very earthly vessel right that we are part of nature and it has natural rhythms yes and so, then spirit and soul has cosmic rhythms right so i think for me my life is about that balance of two because so you basically seed to it you surrender to it in a way the natural course because you don't tell that okay i'm a vessel and you know this is nature yeah. so <laughs> what, what i'm trying to figure yeah because <laughs> that's what i really want to understand right because most people do that they do that on instagram and you know yeah. preach basically so okay be positive but don't hashtag positivity every single day every single moment of your life because to be very honest things are not that positive to be so you have to you know just steal yourself up to the situation right so that's what i'm really interested in that you know the, you, so basically you're just saying that just be right just surrender to everything things will take their own course yeah i mean i see i don't know you're saying hashtag #positive <laughs> <laughs> i i don't see this whole push and pull right between you know the soul and the body mm. or freedom and desire yeah or day and night or sun and moon or dark and light right. this duality right i don't see it as a hashtag positive right. i see it as a hashtag every single minute is work <laughs> is work yeah. please please explain please allow me because it's about balance of the opposite right? right i mean it's fluxes okay we are always in flux right everything is change right it's changing all the time yes and that's essentially what my work rides on right or thrives on right. is this duality the dual experience and the non duality right. and that's what if we had to say what like the purity of creativity is hmm. is it's in that non dual space right right yes right that brings me to your work okay how to put this another confession <laughs> another confession about your work uh it is so i mean it's sad that uh, now you have to see someone's work as an instagram profile because that's the medium current medium right so it's just you know somehow condensed to reels and one minute videos but if i go to your page right i want to know because it's mind bending 
I, I experience it. I feel it. If someone asks me that, you know, what is Shraddha all about? I might not be able to put it in words, mm-hmm. to be very honest. So, I mean, I'm glad you are here so that you can put words for me. But I feel it. I'm there. But I just can't explain it. So, with all due respect, what the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> to, to be fair, I want to know. I, so, you know, let's talk about your work. We'll talk about garbage later because that's the yeah. latest thing that you've done. And of course, I want to talk a lot about that. But before that, just you, like art, how did it happen? Everything. What do you do? <laughs> please. I know photographer, I know visual artist, but please explain. Okay, so you're talking about my Instagram profile? Just, no, no. That was just to, you know, that's the window nowadays. Like people will know your work through no, your but Instagram. but you're talking about garbage or Instagram profile? I'm talking about you as an artist right okay. now. Like whatever you are doing. I'm just talking Shraddha right now, not yeah. garbage. Well, I... Okay, this... See, you're not the first person who's having a challenge with this. Right. I can say that maybe people in the art world who are highly skilled also right. can't seem to wrap their head around what kind of art I make. Right. So I think for me, I if there was a definition, mm-hmm. I would say that I am just using my feminine force. Mm-hmm. My Shakti right. to be a channel of creativity. Right. And it goes beyond material sometimes. Okay. Because sometimes the tools can be kindness, right. inclusiveness. Right. And so for me, my work is a practice. Hmm. And uh, when you say practice, it's a sadhana. Okay. Which is something that you do in a very mindful space right and it's a formless thing yeah yeah agree yeah so that's why i like immaterial art right because art doesn't i mean even though this is a beautiful piece of work yeah that represents somewhere <laughs> yeah somewhere you know this cosmonaut inside of you right and i like I, I like the mirror happening okay Okay, but like, let's take this piece of work right Right. now. Okay. Okay, this is a 2D piece of art. Right. It has the material, it has a wall, it has paint, it has shapes. Yeah. Okay, this is a 5D piece of art. Right. Which has senses. Thanks, mom and dad. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. It has senses, it has feelings, desires, it has all of these different things. And then there is this gap in between, right? This air. Right. Like for me, I am that part for me is that connection, right? Okay. So I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but but see, I see it's difficult, but I'm get, I feel it. I feel what you're saying. But this is yeah, please carry on. I don't Yeah, know. so it's this black, you right. know, in space. Right. Nothing is happening there. Yeah. If something wants to happen it can. Right. And that for me is like formless form. Yes. That for me is channels, okay, like let's look at channels. Hmm. We look at TV channels. Right. Through this channel, right. you can view this. Yes. And this channel, through this channel, the river, the stream is flowing to the river. Right. It's carrying the minerals. Right. From the, <clears throat> you know, the top of the mountain. Yes. Down and then it will go and as Deposit. it goes over the pebbles it right. changes its yes. alchemy and then as it goes into the river it plays a certain role for the I don't know you know the bio bio sphere that is right. in that and then as that mineral flows into the river and then integrates inside of like a whale's you know I don't know and soil I mean deposits minerals in soil yeah. Banks. Yeah. It makes it fertile. Yeah. So, for me, I, I I feel that that is a much healthier way for me to look at my purpose as a artist okay. or a creator or um, that I just use my the shakti within me to right. be a channel of creativity. And, right. you know, let's say one thing, you know, could be a project and mm. one aspect of the project is to make some really kick-ass visual art media yes but maybe another part of that project is to include someone mm. who doesn't have the same resources as i do right. and and include him in my studio or right. her in my studio and like and share like my 
my love and share the warm food right. or share a beautiful atmosphere or share some compassion hmm. with someone who may have gone through things you yeah. know and and actually use that that idea of creativity and the positivity to just expand be part of the expansion because the universe is expanding our minds are expanding our souls are expanding our realizations are expanding i mean there is expansion happening all yes. the time so to participate in that on a much larger scale right. than saying that this frame defines me and mm. this was sold for this much money right. and these are the 10 people who know my work and thus I am an Indian artist. Mm. No, I am a soul on this planet in the solar system, mm. in the galaxy right. and this is what the nature of my constellations are helping me channel while I'm in this lifetime on this side of the planet or this part of the solar system or this part of the question galaxy. so D does does the me part that i made this piece of art and i sold it for this much i am a famous artist now does that me ever try to rise up in you within you like ego like you know definition of me does that ever rise up uh, if yeah. it does what do you do about it i think that all artists are working with identity in their lifetime okay Okay, so you look at Amrita Shergill's hmm. book. Like, I'm not aware, but I'm, I've heard the name. Okay, I'm so aware. this woman was making paintings and self-portraits and questioning her identity, sometimes celebrating it, sometimes objectifying it, okay. sometimes trying to destroy it. You think about Frida Kahlo. Yeah. Okay, she was making her own costumes. She was sharing her relationship with her partner she was talking about her health right. things and making all these costumes for her leg right. and all of these kind of things so i think any creative individual is always having this tussle hmm. right with this part of their identity which is the ego part i want to relate to it by uh, people always ask uh, that you know uh, what genre are you writing about like so it kills me that question because honestly I don't have an answer for that because it just I'm not saying it fluctuates but I want to write about this but then I also want to write about that yeah so if one is surrealism one is fantasy the other one might be thriller so according to market is it right to define yourself as an artist because then at the end you have to make money out of it right? sure please give me some give me a lot yeah. so that I can be free I, I can you know achieve the freedom to create my art sure give me that much but then when you have to get into, you know, the mainstream, so do you think it's important to p put those boundaries or do you think it's always better to just gamble with it, go for it, go do your... And another question that when did you realize that since your work is very, you know, what's the term? Um, esoteric, like it's not for everyone, right? Right? So when did you tell yourself that, you know, fuck it, I don't care, I'm going to do this. I don't care whether everyone likes it or not. So similarly in genre or something, just I just want to know that when did you decide as an artist that this is my work, this is how I present myself, I, I this is how I express myself. Yeah. Uh, so I don't care whether the third person likes it or not. I'm not doing it for him or anyone on this planet. You know, I I love humanity. Okay. I love the human spirit. Right. I, I really respect it. Hmm. I think it's an incredible experience that we are all different. Yes, if you think about it, yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> and there's so much mess, but it's fine. Like, the magic is there. It's beautiful. The love is there. Yes. The beauty is there. Yes. You know, and going back to the beginning, this duality. Right. You know? Yeah. So, um, I also come from, maybe I'm a 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th. 11th generation farmer of this nation all right that's pretty cool uh so i am belonging to the common people right you know and and my intelligence is indigenous right whatever you want to call it or it's not affected people. by the west no it's not about not affected by the west uh, not diluted it didn't get diluted i have raised myself in new york city so i don't consider Wow. Yeah. yeah, you know, so, um, so.
so my I've always hoped that the common man gets my work. Yeah. So I cannot say I don't care if right. people don't understand. Right. Okay. Okay. So market is very different from audience. All right. Please. Okay. And like I have chosen my audiences always. Right. Because I have said, hey, that guy who's struggling on the streets. Mm-hmm. Like if my art can just show him how beautiful he is. Right. How beautiful life is. How beautiful things are and mm. beauty has always been my lens right how beautiful the experience of consciousness is right. how beautiful the anandamaya chitta is how beautiful the buddh chitta is right. you know these are all mechanisms within us right so i can say that the journey of my work has always been about getting people together and saying hey guys like let's Let's get together and celebrate this beauty. <laughs> right. Yeah. For no reason. For no reason. Yeah. And that's where it becomes art. Right. You know. So in that sense, um, again, it's like market. Right. Okay. Like I'm just saying this to not just to you and to anyone who's young and watching right. this. Okay. That. There is nothing on this world that you can't invent for yourself. Like why inherit formulas that are made to put you into boxes? Yes. And I spend a lot of my time creating my own platforms for my work. Mm. Like I can tell you that I did this project with the Palki Pilgrims right. of Maharashtra. Right. Where I went myself and I printed cheap flexes and like the politicians were putting up their flexes to congratulate yeah. people, I put up my own flexes hmm. with my own artwork, with right. my own expression hmm. to speak to lakhs and lakhs of people right. that do not enter the gallery, that yes. do not read newspapers, that are not even literate. And I had an audience larger than any famous artist thousands in India, thousands, right? Yeah. yeah. Without and I hid my name right. in the sentence right. where I said, you know, with love and faith. Oh, that I, is smart. I, that yeah. is genius. Right. <laughs> that's that's for your own kicks, right? That okay, yeah, that's me. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. you know? So that's that tussle again. Yeah. Right. You know, because the ones who knew it happened, right, they resonated hmm. and our hearts have had the exchange. That right. subliminal so, message that okay, yeah, that's that artist. Yeah, or yeah, people yeah. forget artists. It's just like this is another pilgrim who's who's trying to be a part of this pilgrimage. Right. But they've come here from New York City. They know what public art is. They have produced like massive installations for other artists, right. you know. And and so it's like also so much of my work is knowledge sharing right. and knowledge production right. and like the fun you can have. If I may ask, what did the line say where Shraddha came in? No, so I said with love and devotion, I I congratulate all the varis on this pilgrimage right in hindi in marathi in marathi so shraddha word did come inside so, yeah because shraddha means love and devotion yeah devotion yeah. devotion yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 exactly awesome <laughs> so I, I, and artists like to do that right they, they have this thing of you know coding yeah exactly <laughs> i mean of course if you think about i don't know about that famous sunflower guy what's his name vince uh, uh Vincent Van Gogh. Yeah, Van Gogh, yeah, Van Gogh. I don't know whether he did that, but of course Da Vinci did that. Everyone knows yeah. that, right? He is like, there will be a, you know, some message or the other that, yeah. okay, I have made this. So, what, what, see, you, here's the thing. Only when you get super fucking famous, then you will have that, okay, this, this is that artist and he did yeah. that. Otherwise, most of the artists, what drives you to do that? That's what I really want to know. So, if, you know, someone comes out with a piece of art, some artists have the habit of writing their names. I personally don't think that's a cool thing, right? Mm. I, I don't think. But, you know, whatever. But leaving a message and, you know, that fingerprint that, okay, this is yeah. that artist's work. So why do you do that? What's that naughty feeling behind? Yeah, it's... Um... See, when you can create something original... Right. It's the greatest high you could have. Yes, agreed. 100%. Yes. And then to just say, like, you know, how those serial killers leave, like... 
<laughs> wow. I mean, yes. Yeah. Thank you for saying that. I, I, this is one of the reasons why I do this podcast. You know, I need such things. These are <laughs> imperfections and flaws, you know. Yes, you can be a saint, but when you drop bombs like that, yeah, you need, I don't know. Take something out of it, yeah. a trophy, yeah, or something. So, so that, you know, oh, I did that. Yeah, and to be able to create a signature. Right, yeah. I mean, look, what drives the world ideas? What drives the world trends? Right. What drives the world is someone who says, hey, like, how about this? And then follow me. Right. Right? And then also the other thing is, like, there is magic everywhere. Like, how did this? You know, you put this, you click this and the light comes on, you click it, light goes off. I think that's magic, man. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Right? Way, yeah, yeah. And then you just call it science, it, but yeah, it's not. Yeah. But there's so much magic and then to be able to create more magic on top of that. Yeah. It's like, wow, okay, yeah. You know, I was here, man. Yeah. Yes, I was here. Yes. Yeah. But also, it's not me. I'm just a channel of this beautiful... Thing that happens. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's where the conflict comes in, right? Maybe, maybe. Well, I have made peace with that conflict. Yes. Because actually, when you understand what it means <clears throat> to be a channel, hmm. yeah, and to manage that, right? It's a big thing. I think that you know, even someone like Van Gogh, right? If you look at his life. I mean, after living in Holland now, I realize he was trying to open people's minds. Yeah, but when you say his life, it's kind of sad, right? I mean, I, I don't know, went through a lot, that guy. Yeah, he went through a lot because he was so open to this channel. Right. It's, I mean, it's not easy. It's, it's really painful when your entire body is actually just pulverizes and right. then this thing is coming out of you. Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then everybody else thinks you're crazy when mm-hmm. you're actually like super special. Okay. I don't know about the latter part, but when... So I've... I've, I've, I've friends ask me... So when they... I don't know whether you've seen the last one, but I, I had this friend over Rajan. And this, so this dude said... He said that if I offer you some happiness right now won't you take it like he meant it like and i it was very heartfelt the no was very heartfelt i might not i might not yeah so i was being very true to myself at that time i was like maybe not so is this something that you are trying to say because when you feel this i think uh, it brings me to uh that video on garbage your where this guy says that you know Art cannot be forced. The yeah. will, you know. Yeah, 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 primordial will. Exactly. Yeah. You can't tell, okay, it's hard work. I'm going to sit and create something. Yeah. It's just a waste of time. You're just fooling yourself in a way. Sure, you'll create something. But, you know, I've, 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 I've cancelled almost a book because I thought that, you know, I, I select all delete yeah. more than 50,000 words because that was forced work. I did that. Like, I took a good amount of time to write that. But then I just felt that this was forced my surroundings weren't conducive but I was still forced writing forced writing so I didn't like it so when you say that this creativity this thing Vincent had to go through a lot because he knew that he was a channel I wouldn't say it's a nice feeling always but it's powerful yeah right so yeah how do you deal with it you've made peace with it the conflict so when you said that you've made peace with the conflict did you mean that you know uh, now I've accepted fully that okay I am this channel for creativity and that's all my purpose is right that's what I have to do is that yeah the, 20 years 20 years yeah wow okay so yeah is that the drive? that has been my primary journey right I may have made work which has come to me right as a urgent soul message Hmm. so whether you look at my entire canon of work on women construction workers in India following these Banjara women on the sites of some really expensive penthouses Hmm. the homeless migrant labors putting brick on brick on brick to build some 
highly rich man's condos rich man's condos yeah. uh to being inside their labor camps right. to helping them deliver their babies right to all sorts of things right. and uh so and now when i think about the migrations right. that happened during the covid right and then when i look at my work from 10 years ago right um i think like those kind of moments hmm. make you realize that i was it's important that someone records that right those women right that their beauty yes of how much yeah less beautiful we are than the people who have built our homes mm. i think that's like amazing yeah yes you know yeah. and uh, so it goes on yeah you know then at one point i felt that oh man like the indian roads are going to change one day yeah. and and like so why not capture every man who's carrying a goat on his bike and every before person. you don't see them anymore right? yeah yeah right yeah yeah because i think that's like it takes a lot of balls to put your child on the silence or whatever that front part yeah the tank yeah the tank yeah. and and zoom like crazy <laughs> and like what fate and your wife and three more kids <laughs> Yeah, that's the And that man, yeah. that Indian man, that Indian father. Right. I mean, wow, like okay, he may be some kind of a clerk or a pun in mm. an office and have no stature in right. society. Right. But when he's on that bike, man, right. I feel like whoa. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Or um you know there are so many other projects where i just have chased beauty you know i just chasing beauty like yeah. chasing it and chasing it in places that it's just you know people are just not seeing it because mm. that that channeling is not happening yeah um for whatever reason this the you know the matrix that people right. are in right. and you can't blame them yeah definitely and i don't think that like okay in terms of van go okay i feel that you know he was stuck in that time and that era right. and the paint and the oil and the canvas yeah you know even though whatever said and done till date we still remember him yes. so obviously that force is pretty incredible yes, right sure you know yeah. and so um just to take it to the next level mm. talking about my work with the good artist and i feel that i genuinely feel that we all are channeling the cosmic energy yeah our kundalini's all have a resident creative dragon that is okay dragon right <laughs> <Okay. laughs> dragon dragon yeah powerhouse whatever you call it. dragon is cool yeah, yeah. Uh, so like it's not about one person being special over the other mm-hmm. it's just different levels of the journey that we all are as channels right, right. and if we look at someone like uh, Pandit Bhim Singh Joshi okay. or a Sudha Lakshmi. Okay, I know Sudha Lakshmi. They are all classical singers. Okay, okay. I mean, I think they're just like those, you know. They are they are also channels in the sense that yes. there is a sound, right. and they have to keep on saying that sound so that that sound does not get missed. Hmm. That that vibration does not stop right. vibrating. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so, where is it gone now that Bhim Sen Joshi is dead? Right. Where is that sound now? Somebody somewhere is being born, not necessarily as his reincarnation. Right. And he will pick up those sounds, and then he will end up alive, and then, and then again that vibration. So there is a continuity, and we are all part of that cycle, or you know, whether you look at galaxies. Yeah. a solar system it, there is a cycle there mm. is a gravitational pull there is an expansion there's also like an entropy right so 
in all of that, what is your thunder? You know. Yeah. And we're all doing it. You're doing it with this. Right. Mm, tomorrow you'll do it with something else. Right. And because we are creative people, like somehow I feel market not accepting you mm. is a really amazing opportunity to reinvent. Yes. Yes. Right? Agreed. Hundred percent. Of course. Yeah. Then you just become a commodity, right? Yeah. 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 Then it becomes harder to reinvent. Yeah. Yes. Agreed. Let's talk about garbage. Okay. What is it? Yes. Please. How did so, it start and what is it? Let's start with what is garbage. Uh, I think for me, I like to define garbage as a lost and found body stands in confrontation of a garbage dump. Okay. Okay. You have to break it down. Definitely. Okay. But yes. So we are all lost hmm. in the systemics. Right. right. Now. Yeah. The systems, can you tell me one person from a billionaire to a beggar knows what the hell is going on? <laughs> so the question is, do we need to know what's going on? Yeah. So that's the found part. Okay. Okay. So that's why it's garb age. Right. The age of garbs. Right. So garb is like a Sadra Kashti or oh, a Navwari Sari okay. or a Gandhi Tobi, whatever that thing or, you know, the whatever you put on top right. to tell a person like, hey, I belong to this tribe. This is my thinking. This is my culture. These are my values. Hmm. This is the con- This is the container of my identity. Right. Right. Okay. Yes. Which also has to do in relation with your community and its community values and all. Yes. Yes. So I feel that right now, uh, I started Age of Garbs in 2016. Mm-hmm. I spent one year doing research. Right. Then 2017, I started gathering a lot of garbage mm-hmm. and a lot of things in the color sphere. Because mm-hmm. as you can see, it's yeah. a very colorful yeah. project. Yeah. And then between, let's say, the beginning January of 2018 to June 2018 is mm. when I produced my maximum work. Right. And then 2019, I, I dove into that destruction right. of the work because yeah. somehow I couldn't bear to think that I had created mm. all this garbage. Yeah. You know, and a lot of it is autobiographical, right. is that we we we, ha- we live in a world where our desires are constantly being fed right. and feeding right. mechanisms right. that range from beautiful to highly exploitative. Mm. And every single process in this is right. creating some kind of byproduct or waste product. Okay. And okay. then we are chucking it over our shoulders and moving on and chucking it over our yes. shoulders. And um, we are creating garbage mountains. Yeah. We are ca- creating toxic landfills. Yes. We are creating uh, all sorts of transformation of natural materials into poisonous materials. Right. We are transforming it to feed our desires. Right. And then on top of that, the individual is saying like, hey, like... I didn't ask for like all of this barium to be, you know, uh, excavated from this mountain and displacing an entire Adivasi community right. where now they are living in the city and have become criminals and alcoholics and are like living on mm. crack and overproducing children and they are landless and lawless and all of these things. Like, yeah. I didn't ask for that mercury inside right. of my yeah. battery, which... You know, when I'm done, yeah. does anyone in Pune know where the hell does one dispose of batteries? E-waste, yeah, where does it go? No. Does anyone have the time? No. Does anyone have the interest? I just want the new iPhone every year. Yeah. Are they willing to give it up? And that's the question. Yeah, so that is the question about garbage. Is that unless we all come together on a conscious platform right. to talk about these things, right. to resolve them by understanding that it is the age of garbs. Yeah. Like your consumer needs, your whatever desires right. are creating a bunch of bio residue mm. on this planet right. for the next generations. Yeah. 
destroy stuff. You know what's the crazy part about this? Yeah. That people like you who are bringing this thing up, right? Unfortunately, you also need all that stuff to just be a part of the system, right? To Absolutely. make to to make yourself, you know, to get yourself out there, to, you know, to be heard by people. You need the latest iPhone and stuff. The iPhone is just, you yeah. know, an example, right? But it's just, I mean, how to break this circle? Yeah, it's difficult because if you want your content to reach thousands, millions of people, you have to get the right gadgets. and then you just become a part no, of that circle true. no please not I, true. I, yeah i want to know so i uh, basically uh, i also because i've done so much research right. like okay i have to stand in and buy this work right mm. so i wouldn't say that i am like one of those sustainability experts yeah but a few actions so for example i am big on con- conservation of resources okay So I got a grant right to do this project right. from the Max Miller Bhavan. Okay. Okay, so the person that I employed right to do the animation right okay happened to be someone who badly needed hmm to support that family right. through this. Thing. Right. Okay, so again removing that person from the matrix right putting them in my studio hmm feeding them the best of the best. Hmm. Then, as sharing all of my knowledge, with mm. this person, empowering this person, mm. and opening his mind. Right. Okay. Uh, then I had this Instagram account of the good artist, which right. I never used. Right. Okay. So instead of and this Facebook page. Right. Okay, which had like a piddly two thousand followers. Okay. Okay. So instead of saying that I'm going to keep this good artist page running right. and make a new Facebook page mm. and take up more server space right. and then that server space is going to be backed up in some random server in Iowa you are the right. first person who talks about server space okay. <laughs> sorry <laughs> it just blew my mind but right? you're concerned about server space yeah I don't care. I mean, yeah, usually I mean, people don't. These are like massive building blocks that yes. are taking water and air and right. air conditioning space. Yes. So some shit that you don't care. I'm sorry. Oh, please. But you know, some stuff you yeah. don't care about. You don't have time to sit and resolve. Okay, right. it's just there's a fan running. Right. On a silicon chip or whatever you want to call it. Right. Keeping that stuff alive. Yeah. Okay so I said that rather than making a new page and acquiring new followers mm-hmm. why don't I use the page I have right and then whoever doesn't want to follow this can uncheck yeah. unfollow me yeah. and you know honestly I don't care okay if thousands of people see this or not mm. because first of all garbage this part of garbage is about bringing back a symposium that happened in the 90s okay. okay this is part of someone's life's work okay where all of these experts were brought together their everything was taken care of right this kind of amazing conscious um space was created where an economist can say that hey we effed up right where uh, a scientist is holding a spiritual leader responsible for mm. breaking it down mm. uh, where where you know people have spoken from their heart right so first of all for me i am working with 40 years right as opposed to 40000 followers right so for me that is my yes you know yeah the, the reach yeah yeah exactly it's in the time Understood. Access, understood. Not yes. in the space. Access. Yeah. Not on clicks and taps on phone. No. Yeah. And then we've had people who have followed us mm. each and every video like it was the oxygen they needed. Yeah. Okay. So I'd rather have those. Let's say there were a good odd twenty followers mm. that we know of right. because they were responding to us. Right. but then you see videos like 15 shares 17 shares you know but shares isn't sent to 17 people like right. so people are sharing this right. like you know there's a energy being formed yes. in the conscious sphere yes. yeah and then you know like one of our when i sort of tried to check who was this ex person who was like liking everything like 5 minutes after we've uploaded right uh is like this brazilian mom right 
Yeah. It's beautiful, right? Right. Yeah. And what is she doing? She's probably trying really hard to raise her child consciously. Yeah. Yeah. So this work is actually going to help someone right. who is not like sitting and putting makeup on their face mm. and, and posting selfies of themselves all day yeah. long. Yeah. You know, influencers or whatever you want to call oh, it. I love them. <laughs> I love them. There's so much content. Oh my God. Right? So, <laughs> I mean, all due respect to that, yeah. it's all due respect to participating in what you call co-opting. Hmm. Okay? But I think that, again, um, you know, some of the conversations that my animator has had with Lauri, who is this 80-year-old Dutch woman. Okay. She is your... She's the one who made the symposium and brought the Dalai Lama to Amsterdam. Okay. You know, I mean, it's like garbage or what we did. This right. is like, it's a lecture. It's a full day lecture. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. how did it start? Yeah. How did it go about? How did it... Think? So the videos were these experts on the panel. They were, you know, they were talking, they were speaking. What Was it a part of this whole journey or have you taken videos from some seminar or what one was... One seminar. Five days seminar. But garbage had to do something with that? Like, were you linked or were they just, you know, wise men sitting together talking? No, so that's where I I actually, um, when I found found out when I was living in Europe doing my master, which is why I went to do my master in fine art. Yeah. Because I really wanted to define myself. Right. Find that definition. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So when I found out that actually there is a movement called a Fluxus movement. Okay. Where artists were saying this, that we are channels, we Mm. are healers of society, we are the leaders of society, we are the disruptors of society. So why are we making artworks which have a signature on it and going to galleries and museums and going into that whole circle which is a beautiful circle by the way there's nothing wrong with that but it is a very small part of what the channel of creativity can offer to every human being yeah uh so when i found them and then i realized that most of them are dead Mm -hmm. and uh one of the most important part of this amazing movement i mean andy warhol was a part of this movement Joseph Boyce was part of What's the name of that sir, if I may, who's who's Indian, like he's he's of Indian origin, but speaks in German as well and he just drops knowledge bombs like crazy. He's in he's in most of your garbage videos. That you know, looks like a scientist, short guy, grey hair, talks about he was telling people about this will that yeah will. yeah so that's Raimon Panika okay he's a Hindu scholar and Catholic priest I love his talks you exactly. know he's, he's amazing he's amazing exactly so that's why garbage is this repository right. of finding these people right you can research them yeah you can look up you know if you look at the post right. you see down who are the speakers right and you can you can follow your own path and so that's why when I found out the symposium right. and this woman right. who was part of the Fluxus movement mm. and that she is the one who has documented most of the ideas of the Fluxus right. to her writing sculpture, yeah. uh, that's when I felt that I have found my lineage mm. and I must go and take her blessings. Right. And when I did go and take her blessings and I saw this massive archive and I felt like, wow, if... In this five-day panel mm-hmm. with one-hour-long films which have been cut down, right. there are even one minute is so yeah. powerful. Yes, right? yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. Yeah. That you have to sit back and be like, whoa, I, like, what do I do? Right. What do I do with this? Yeah, image? exactly. That's why I came up to you with the question that, what are you doing? Like, I get it, but what is it? Yeah. It's, it, and uh, uh, this, uh, will you tell me the name of that dude again? That Raimon Panikar. Yeah. So you listen to him for one minute and it's just elevating. Yeah. Right? You know, this, this, this magic, this invisible force, right? And why? It's just real stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. my question through this is why isn't it this all of this part of educational syllabus? Because a 
you have to train the masses for industry i mean it's yeah. it kind of makes sense like everyone can't be on this track it's just because it isn't forced the way that learned fellow said right so many people don't have it so they won't be able to think like that it's very plausible to think that masses have to be prepared for industry so that the country runs or the world runs right you have to create labor force you have to create workforce and when you create that if everyone in, is on that tangent there won't be any productivity to think about it you know sure they can be enlightened in that sense but how to create or generate a workforce you need that and it's not like we are forcing people into it we're just creating an ecosystem where people choose their path that okay i want to go to this but if you really have to you know send food to people like you have to feed you have to create opportunities i think it's a bit difficult so education sure there can be a subject i mean it's it, we have to actually i agree that we have to sit down and talk about it more to think of avenues that how to get this into it but you just can't wipe the other side off that you know people no, of course not. yeah we can't wipe it out because we have already made this yes. mess yes and that's what the tagline of garbage is our global mess right it is a mess right yeah okay for all of this talk about feeding the country right. does anybody talk about the level of food waste that is happening in a country where people are starving every day does that make any sense it's to it's, it's a chaos yes it's weird it's sad but you know you just can't even uh, let go one day of not following that path you the moment people decide that okay this is not the right path <laughs> millions are going to starve like they might not get one meal like the next meal it's sad but that's but the system but what meal are you talking about if we look at this building right. and each balcony decides to put two bhindi plants right. in each balcony right. i'd promise you right it's going to be enough okay for every floor debatable and but yeah <laughs> try try growing bhindi in a pot in your uh, garden in but, your balcony but what about uh, desire then or what about you know i want i don't want to eat bhindi like just saying just saying that i want variety yeah so every balcony can choose a different vegetable i so here's the thing right i want burger and fries on my table because it's available yeah sure it's delicious sure right and it's fast and it can cater to more people than a bhindi in a house right yeah. so people are used to it now convenience to be very yeah. honest people are used to convenience they want everything delivered and rightly so i mean so, so yes a mess this, yeah yeah so convenience i mean is it okay convenience is it convenient that due to your lifestyle your arteries are blocked with something called cholesterol which is some kind of nasty crusty material which is just sitting on your arteries and one day it's going to basically ensure that either you pop dead at the middle at the drop of a hat or you have to take a pill every single day so you don't die from right. your con- what your convenience has caused but now you're being uh, junk food specific right in a way but let's talk about a steak a healthy steak if you consider yeah. steak healthy right if you consider meat healthy i don't know how which part do you lie on <laughs> so so it's very you know again uh, a topic where we can have long debates but meat for example yeah. i'm a huge meat supporter i think everyone should eat meat unless your religion or your faith doesn't allow you to so uh, so if you want that let's like, forget about junk if you want that if you want a store where you can get good meat good fish good eggs farm fresh however you want to call it all the latest jargon right then it's not going to clog your arteries like if you if you overdo anything it's going to harm you one yeah, way or the other the meat industry is an industry i mean do we even know how where that stuff is coming See, that, from that's the convenience and the sick part that we are a part of like i i don't know i mean there are you billions know, of people for a long time because we have cows and bulls right right and only when a cow gets sick right i know the practice it's very unethical it's sad and it, it it's just sad it's just sad so I you want to eat but i want to eat a sick animal i want to eat a healthy animal but i don't think that that is coming to you not at all not at all yeah. right so this is what this is what garbage is about right. and that's why if you look at the videos right 
there are little pins there are little locust what is a locust like that's it. 3d usko <laughs> wahan pe jammu mein hamare 3d bolte hain 3d 3d whatever is it a locust is that that's not a grasshopper that was a grasshopper no that's a locust is it i i think so i would i think so yeah 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 uh, you tell me you worked on it i don't know but i think you know it was in my garden so i just picked it up and put it mm, in then it. might be a grasshopper i'll i'll research it today but I, whether it was locust or 3d so the object that you gathered to represent it's just beautiful and then yeah. uh, okay there's one where you know you lift something up and then it, it just flies, flies away and the title is freedom no yeah. it's free free your mind it free your mind yeah 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 exactly so wow i mean yeah please carry on i just you know go into that zone no it's yeah it's just it's the way you so those pins what do what do all of those represent the gra- is there an uh, you know an expression behind that okay this grasshopper or locust whatever that is means something yeah so i think for me it's the smallest thing can be a guru okay if you stare at it long enough mm yeah you can learn from it yes guru yeah yeah, yeah. sure 100% no and i think that this is where i feel that our intelligence mm mm-hmm. as beings that have access to so much compared to animals yes planet. yes yes okay by touching this you know thing right this thing has keep sorry i'm like <laughs> <laughs> it's okay we have that <laughs> that's our sound yeah. <laughs> yeah you know i mean did you ever look at this road and say like Hey man, you're my best friend. Like you no. would have make 30 episodes. No, I will never do you that. You beautiful. <laughs> I'm not that kind of guy. No. Pink, black, spongy. You know, with this red one. <laughs> do, do, do you do that? Do you do that? Do you talk to objects? Maybe you do, because it says what material your your yeah. hashtag what? Yeah. There's something material in your garbage car. Immaterial art. Immaterial. Okay, then it's just. it's contrary and but anyway yeah you were saying yeah i don't do that no no so, i don't i don't talk to objects okay. like, oh, no no <laughs> no but like you call me yeah right, to talk to me right. you ask me questions yeah. you're aware of right. me you yeah. are interested in me 100%. what am i doing like in life or like no in this you are contributing to the conversation you are talking back <laughs> this won't talk back <laughs> this, this, i'll be i'll be partial oh, no i shouldn't say that but you know there's some level of schizophrenia to believe that this thing is going to talk back right yeah <laughs> think about it can. it yeah it and can yeah. why not it's yeah. made of the punch that was like you are are you sure punch because i think something's <laughs> missing <laughs> something's missing it's just not responding in right? this or in you maybe both both i mean i don't think i think <laughs> humans are complete i think humans are complete when it comes to punch that was but non living thing right not going to talk back not even going to in the language which language you what you talk now we're going only very... re- reducing it to human language anything move you know those Vibrations. coma patients that move a pinky <laughs> something something sure it's helping me but it's a thing it's i i created it it's helping me but yeah i want to think like that i would rather suppress the you know <laughs> schizophrenic part i'm like no <laughs> one day it starts talking yeah it's beautiful <laughs> wow <laughs> what that's why i, I love think on that note <laughs> what's next on that note what's next for sure you know i am very open to the new world right and <clears throat> i think to understand what has been churning mm. silently right through this 2020 right gift right uh, like i just kind of have put on the, you know cuz sometimes if you put on the button for the bell to ring mm-hmm. from inside the house right right so the amazon guy can ring the bell and yeah. deliver your package yeah. yeah so and then you have to kind of not have noise in the house right. so you can hear when the bell rings yeah yeah so i'm like oh wow what what 
is there in the new world i right. have to be silent yeah. i the bell will ring and yeah. then i will open the door right so it's like just waiting for a signal yeah i mean i do my photography work right. so i capture legacies right and i it's like branding and imagery and uh, documentation yes. and all of this kind of stuff that's what pays the bills yeah so that's ongoing right and i've decided that now it's really important for me to only work with companies that inspire me yeah or i can learn something right so if i have i don't know where like surgical i don't know manufacturing of like barometers or something yeah Uh, ask me like please come and like photograph our process nice. i'll be like heck yeah please. what a barometer <laughs> 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 are you to measure atmospheric pressure right if i'm not no idea yeah. just like right yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. atmospheric pressure that matters yeah uh, yeah so that's one thing that you know i'm like me and my team and my producer like we're really sort of putting ourselves together equipment you know just gathering everything because actually garbage is a whirlwind right like i'm still quite tired because i did create close to like 177 original wow. media works right. in 3 months okay which is like highly commendable yes and each and every work is original i mean it does right. not is not referencing anything yeah visually aesthetically it there's no reference on this planet right of this world mm. i mean the only thing that i saw which was very exciting that louis vuitton's new campaign is using the same colors okay so i was like oh cool mm. okay on that level and standard okay yeah. <laughs> they are okay. they are on that level and standard i would i would say it otherwise <laughs> yeah they are on that level and standard yeah this <laughs> killing cars and making bags yeah. <laughs> yeah. and so that that was exciting right. to see that yeah. and then, <clears throat> and then so like healing from garbage because i don't think it's that easy to be that person who speaks the truth mm. and stands by it and then also says that you know it's okay yeah it's okay that it's lying hidden somewhere right. on the internet right and yes i would love like students who are going to be like policy makers and mm. cultural attaches and presidents and prime ministers right one day yeah i can take this to that student body nice because i really care for mother earth right i really care yes. because of my background right and generations right. of knowledge that is in my dna yes. about how to work with nature how right. to serve humanity it's a balance yes. so uh Yeah so this is kept there and then I have a couple of institutions museums galleries curators across the world nice. where we are churning things right so like let the churning happen yeah let the fire come let us all burn it and rise up like phoenix yes. whatever it yeah. is let the amazon guy ring, ring the bell, bell yes. and we will oh, open the door and, <laughs> and respond yeah. 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 yeah and so again like going back into that formlessness and that faith yes. yes in universe mm. that whatever is for you is going to come and you just keep having fun yeah and you just keep believing in yourself and you just keep sharing your privileges right. with whoever suffering around mm. you in the kindest way possible yes. while protecting yourself right and 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 just move on and reinvent and and enjoy and breathe and and have conversations with your little road mind yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. now you now you've oh. kind of added soul to it now okay yeah. i have a um way to prove all all right let yeah, this yeah. yes 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 yeah okay okay right when you download this file okay that has created by the right. soul mind it's going to speak to you but not in my <laughs> okay. voice i i i'll buy that fine <laughs> fine <laughs> just to make you happy right now i'll believe that yes it was awesome shada thank you so much thank for you thank, thank you so much